What is up everybody, my name is Jordan and welcome back to Periodic Surf Co. So in this video I'm going to give you a quick tip for when you're building one of our hollow core wooden surfboards. Now out in front of me here is our 5'5 five five shorty. This is an absolutely killer board, super lightweight and uh, easily customizable. The other thing in front of me is the deck skin. So I've already gone ahead and I have glued up two panels of our wooden surfboard skins and we have also cut out the outline. So we've just laid out our one-to-one -one paper template, traced around it and there you go. Uh, things are looking pretty good for our surfboard. With our wooden surfboard frames, we still do have to think about grain direction, especially up where the frame is at its thinnest point, which is right at the nose. Unfortunately for surfboards, that is where the steepest amount of rocker is. So when it comes to our attaching our bottom skin, we do have to take a few things into consideration and that is not to overstress the nose. So when it comes to gluing on your bottom skin, it's a really good idea to use a rocker table. For those that don't know what a rocker table is, it's nothing more than a flat table, but you put plenty of spaces all over it. So when you put your frame down on top of it, it doesn't rock because the table is now matching the rocker. Now this here is standard practice for wooden surfboards across the board. One thing that I wanna show you though, is a really quick tip which helps reduce the stress even further and makes life a lot easier when it comes to that stressful glue up where time is ticking. Now the hint that I wanna show you is pre-forming this front nose section. So what we're going to do to do that is we're gonna apply plenty of water to this front section of our nose. And we're actually going to apply a little bit of steam to this area because what we're gonna do is we're gonna induce a bit of a curve here. We're gonna clamp it down once it's hot and then we're gonna let it cool. Once it's cooled, we can remove that weight and you'll notice that our skin now has a bit of a rocker to it already, which means when it comes to gluing things up, we're not gonna be fighting quite as much with our deck skins. Now this here is just a wet rag and uh, this is kind of what makes it all happen. Now, an additional step could be to wrap tin foil or aluminum foil over this nose section so it locks all of that steam in. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any of that here today. So all it means is that we're gonna spend a little bit more time ironing this. So the iron is what's gonna create the steam than we would if we had that tin foil. So with the steam, we just wanna make sure that the whole area gets nice and, uh, well, hot for one. And if we have to, keep applying water so that we don't run out of steam too early. Now, right at the tip where, you know, let's say the, the last 100 mil or four inches, we're really gonna focus on getting that area hot because that's where we want the most amount of curvature. So with that hot, we're actually going to overbend this. So I'm gonna put that up higher than it has to be. And then something that is nice and wide so that we're gonna distribute our weight evenly across the width, we can clamp this down just gently. We don't need much, but we do want it to be kind of firm so we're inducing that rocker. All right, so we've let that dry for about half hour or so, and uh, we can see that now if we pick that up, the actual shape of this skin is no longer flat and it has a slight curve to it, and that is exactly what we're going for. Now it may look subtle, but here is where the difference is made. If I lay my frame over this now, instead of needing quite a bit of pressure to get this to conform, it's just light finger pressure. And you can see that this joint closes up perfectly right away. And there is absolutely no stress getting placed on any of those joints. Now this particular surfboard has a fairly gentle rocker. So doing this may be a little bit of overkill on something with a, a steeper rocker, like say our egg or even our longboard, which has quite a steep um, pitch at the nose there, this sort of step, it's gonna pay for itself and you will notice a difference. Okay, so that's just about gonna do it for this video. Hopefully some of you guys find it useful and will uh, kind of appreciate this method for what it is. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you click that thumbs up button and leave a comment below and uh, hit that subscribe button because we are gonna be doing a lot more videos like this because after all, our mission here at Periodic Surf Coat and DIYSurfboardKits.com is to make building your own wooden surfboard accessible to everyone. You'll notice that all of our kits need no special tools, no special machines, just a desire to do it and a basic handset of tools.